Good evening guys, this is UD from Unified Networking Lab team. In this video I would like to show you how to use the traffic generator Ostinator into the Unified Networking Lab using an ellipse and then to capture and then send some traffic. Yeah, it's it's actually it's very cool, cool thing. But uh, in a web I searched around today, it's I can't get and actually the information about how to use it is very very poor. That's why I'm here and I will show you the basics of the Ostinato. I created a topology on the Visio. Don't be scared again. Yeah, it's just I like the Visio and then I'm doing the nice topologies on it. So the topology will be from three routers, which is in the EAGRP domain, and we will connect the Ostinato traffic drone. That's the name drone. Yes, it is actually it is node. As you see, it, it will be connected to the lab, right? And the second part, which is very important here, yeah, it's and how to how to use the drone and to manage this drone. We have to connect it to the some Windows management workstation. And I will show you how to do this. So what do we need for this? So Ostinato dr drone, actually you can download download it from uh, I found this one. Uh, website, yeah, it's a very a QCOW, it's ready to use this uh, uh, image, and the Windows management pack is here. Don't worry, I will upload this uh, topology and uh, what I did here in beside beside this video. As you see here, the drone is connected to my PNET Zero Cloud. I told about, I told about PNET a lot in previous two videos. Yeah, it's a how to use the clouds, and actually it will be very very simple. We are connecting this Ostinator drone to the cloud, and it will get the IP address from my home LAN. As you see, it is 172.25.1.0 with a mask 24. So let's inspect it. Uh, let's inspect what do we need for. Ostinato. So we have the Ostinato page right right here. Yeah, and the one thing is missed. Uh, it's what we need. I'm going to download and look at this. Here is a Windows and we have to get the Windows package. I'm going to Bintray here and look at this on the bottom. We have an Ostinato binary pack. No need to install this pack. I'm just I'm ju just will show you that's it is downloaded like a zip file i'm just unzipped it and that's it it's ready to use here right okay so traffic about management pack i told now let's go let's go and and connect the ostinator drone to the unl so i created already this lab yet yeah, so i will not show how to do this how to interconnect the three routers here right oh, just a sec so this lab is created, yes, and we can we can go back to the diagram. I configured the all loopback IP addresses and the EHRP domain. Very simple, guys. Very simple. As uh, and you can see that we have to connect this drone to the R1 router. Let's do this. So I'm going to edit lab and uh, add notes, and I'm going to find where is my Ostinator. Here is Ostinator. Cool. The image is preloaded. Yeah, it's this. Uh, which I've shown you before, it's downloaded and loaded in URL, URL, but look at this, I have to do more interfaces, I'm giving the two interfaces, the one will go, which will send the traffic to the URL lab, and the second interface will be for management, usually the first interface is a management, let's do this, okay, Ostinator, it's here, so we need one cable to connect uh, to the R1, let's do, network, uh, R1, Okay, it's bridge. Good. Let's connect it. Interfaces uh, R1 and Ostinato. First interface is a management. Remember this. And I'm going to connect to the second interface. So, and the uh, one part left. So, we need to add my PNET 0, which is my homeland. Okay, it will be home land good homeland and it is my peanut zero let's do and i'm going to connect to the homeland so done uh, for better look let's let, let's like this oh come on okay good so lab is done and let's start the devices now 
Okay, I'm going to actions. Actually, Ostinator is very, very small and tiny. It's it's about uh, uh, 16 megabytes only. Yeah, it's I'm giving the 500 and. Uh, 512 RAM is given yeah it's uh, to, to generate the packets to send yeah it's and but actually it's very small let's start the notes I'm going pause while well, it starts but actually it starts very quickly and fast okay let's let's open consoles rotor 1 rotor 2 rotor 3 and the ostinator look at this ostinator already booted fine so how to log in the login is pretty simple just two letters T C enter that's it guys no password just two letters T C so the first thing we have to be sure that we got an IP address for management interface okay let's do little bit just just to look what I'm doing yeah, it's and uh, <laughs> no need to know that it's uh, the Linux in very deeply yeah, it's and so if config I'm doing if config the Linux command and let's inspect what we have here look at this my drone got an IP address which is 44 from my LAN right and this one guy no IP address because I have not configured any anything but just an IP address is configured in the router one which is uh, 192.168.10.1 and I'm going to configure this IP address on a drone okay let's do this um, so sudo yeah, so we have to we have to be sure that I'm an admin and giving this command if config if config uh, eth0 right yes it is our interface and I'm giving an IP address 168.10.2 and net mask not not a mask but net mask and 255 255 255.0 that's it so. Uh, let's check now interfaces and you can see that I have assigned the IP address for ETH. We can try to ping router now. Um, ping 192.168.10.1. So you can see success. Cool. Let's do the next. As I told you before, I already downloaded the package from, um, from Ostinato web page and here is it. Now I'm opening and look at the content. The content is pretty simple here and you can see the X file. Okay, let's do just run. So automatically it's connecting to my computer to my home PC and look at this these are all interfaces installed in my desktop PC but we will not use this port group and I'm going to delete because we need the other port group which is which is face to UNL. I'm going to delete this group and file new port group and here we should to write the management IP address of your drone. Let's check what I have. So my drone IP address is this one from Homeland. Okay, I'm going to copy and look at this. It's important. Column and the port is 7878. Okay, just remember this. 7878. Okay. And look at this, the port group is added, and this one, ETH0, it is faced to the my UNL. Now, we have, uh, we have in our topology, and like, let's check what we need to do. We will start to create, uh, let, let me check. So we will start to streams, yeah, to, to create the streams. Look at this. We will to create the one, two, three, four, actually nine stream, nine streams. For for traffic capture, I created an access list which is on which is on router three. We're gonna check it. Um, show run. All right. And you can see that I have created this access list and assigned it under interface zero zero and. Uh, direction in incoming direction okay good so let's do this so the my idea what I want to do now uh, let's check in, inspect the first the first interface is 10 1 which is r1 e00 we will generate the traffic that is coming from this interface the UDP traffic with the destination with the source port it does it's actually doesn't matter but the destination port will be 53 it's DNS 
it's DNS port. Yeah, this is very nice. It's because if you need some topologies to verify if your router, yeah, so for example, can capture some traffic, yeah, it's very specific, and Ostinato does it. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to in this screen here. Yeah, it's I'm marking this port port. Okay, I'm going to new stream. Let's name it. It will be U UDP for uh, oops. Uh, UDP for uh, let's say for three 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 okay three okay good now when it's created and the name it I'm going to edit stream okay good don't don't afraid it's very simple and I'm going in the basics but Ostinato it's actually has a lot and lot features about how we can use so I am using the mark in layer one level the Ethernet will be checked here too. It will be the IPv4, right? And it will be the UDP packet. The payload I'm saying none, and the layer 5 as well none. Let's go next up protocol data. Protocol data, this is important point. And it actually it will be all for all our traffic flows, it will be the same configuration here. And if you are looking for on the our uh, topology I mark it. The source MAC address is Ostinato Drone Ethernet Zero MAC address. Let's check it. Yeah, it's uh, actually you can even to copy out. Yeah, okay, it's some um, credence. Uh, oh, we have it here. Okay, this will be source, source MAC, and the destination MAC address is only only one, and it is an E. Uh, rotor one, the Z, uh, E zero zero. Let's check it. Where is R one? Show <coughs> interface zero zero. Here is a MAC address of router one. This is a destination MAC. Let's copy then. So don't don't worry. That's the formats or dots. Yeah, it's just a copy this MAC address and let's go to the uh, Ostinator. So the source MAC address is my drone. It's going to be here, and the destination is my router one. And I'm going to copy and going to destination here. Push. Cool. Yeah, it's. I'm leaving the modes fixed because I, I have, I had no time yet uh, to just in, in check and then what we can do here yet. But when I read the documentation and just across, it's amazing possibilities. Ethernet type, I'm leaving as it. So and now look at this. I would like to, if we're going back to my, um, had better to look my topology. It's in one time and the estimator. Uh, okay, we can see. Uh, so. And look at this, it is in protocol data. So my address we filled here. I'm going to Ethernet, we do nothing, and the next tab it's uh, protocol. Here we will do the source address. Look at this, the source address will be the interface of R100. I'm going to fill up this 192.168.10.1, cool. And the destination is a loopback address of R3. Let's do this. 3333. So, fine. Good. And the last last uh, tab left, and we will go to assign a port. So the override source port will be 1024 per my table here, and the destination port will be DNS port UDP 53. Cool, isn't it? So <clears throat> here I'm doing uh, in, in variable fields. I'm, I'm, Actually, it's um, honestly I'm saying I didn't read about this yet. So on, on what it does, I cannot say here. And how many packets the like stream control? Now I'm going to. We will generate, let's say, 20 packets, and uh, packets per second will be the one second here. Okay. And the packet U, it's if we will use the uh, white shark, you're gonna use that. Uh, this information you will you have to you have to see in your wire shark. So the traffic is done. But now steps. Look at this. This is market. The tra uh, the stream is market, and I'm saying apply. Okay, it's apply. Now look at this. I'm checking the port 101-0. Uh, this is a port group. I'm check. I'm just a market it. Yeah, it's a, when you're clicking here, it marks all port all uh, all tops here. The cleanup, the information, 
yeah it's just just it's, it's automatically generating some some uh, pockets and so on as you see here right now I'm starting to generate a traffic let's do and you can see that the traffic started to count frames sent in the four five six seven yeah now we can jump to R3 and check if it is captured or this show access dash list look at this look at this the host from 10.1 is sending the traffic equal domain to the host 333 and you can see that the 20 pockets is done because I generated only 20 pockets and we received the 20 pockets cool isn't it yeah so we just sent the traffic from R1 E00 to the Lubeck 33 right okay let's do next yeah it's a more interesting thing yeah it's when we need to for example to send the traffic from Lubeck 2 uh, from uh, Lubeck uh, Lubeck interface R2 to the tree to, from Lubeck to Lubeck let's do let's do this okay so be sure that the traffic is stop it and nothing is generated otherwise you cannot create a new stream and I'm going to new stream again it will be a Lubeck stream Lubeck stream all right okay I'm going edit edit stream so let's go the section it is either not it will be IPv4 and the UDP traffic for example known yeah it's fine so again yeah so that's why I copied the IP addresses here so we have the destination IP addresses uh, sorry MAC address is here and my drone mac address is here right okay ethernet we do nothing protocol and now look at this i'm doing the source will be 2222 and the destination will be 3333 cool so the override source port will be 1024 yeah, and the destination will be 53 the variable fields do not um, do not touch and we will send okay let's do 25 packets and leaving the one okay let's do so again I am saying so this is now interesting we created two flows and if you will leave check it both it will start to send the first flow then ostinator automatically will jump to the second and we will we will check how it works yeah actually we have now it's a 20 packets which match yeah we will we will have the new match which is new stream from Lubeck to Lubeck right and this one should be 40 then after all stops let's do I'm marking the two streams apply right again check the all all column here just a click here on a port uh, so I'm saying to clear up counters and I'm starting to generate the traffic pockets frames sent you can see the traffic started work okay and let's check now our our access list and you're gonna see now look at this the UDP from the host uh, for twos it's it's going to the Lubeck router 3 and using the UDP look at this so the 20 pi packets is sent and you can see the second second my traffic started to started to increase this one right I think this is a very cool thing yeah it's sent a little bit deeper if to, to check how to use it yeah it's, it's just basic okay uh, as you see I have some um, configure it yeah it's actually I configured the TCP and we have to send the traffic to the uh, the port 80 let's do this so uh, we have to stop traffic so stopped okay the new stream I'm going to add the new stream it will be VVV and we will send it again we will send it from host or 2222 and we will send it the traffic for uh, all trees okay let's do this I'm going to edit stream so we are going again uh, okay it is Ethernet IPv4 it is TCP packet okay yeah it's TCP protocol now so 
it looks okay non non yeah protocol data okay again we have to copy our MAC addresses here this uh, was it yeah destination is be careful with these MAC addresses yeah, and then sometimes you can you can mess up yeah, and nothing will work then yeah it's addresses are right is not leaving the protocol the source will be uh, Two 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 two, and the destination will be all trees. Trees, cool, and the override. The source port will be actually you can leave it. Yeah, it's a paper my table. It is one all twenty four, and override the destination port is eighty. Okay, and we can use an um cinch flag. Yeah, it's a for your packet or acknowledgement if you wish. Yeah, it's and so. So the variable fields, I do not touch them. And a stream, we will send uh, how much we want. OK, let's do 30 packets. OK, and the packet view as well. Uh, let's do more, and I will show you how, how you can see in a void shark as well. Let's send 100 packets. It will be enough, maybe. Yeah, it's OK, 200 packets. OK, good. OK, and look at this. I do not check these guys and only one. Yeah, it's I need only one. I'm saying apply. It's fine. I'm going here and we are starting to generate the traffic now. Okay, it started to send. Let's check now our access list if something happens here. A look at this. The traffic started to come in. And if you're going to our topology, you know that we have Wireshark integration here and we can capture at this point E00 and let's do this. I'm doing the capture. Oh, not installed and you can see guys the packet is coming coming in right look at this with the source and destination I'm going to stop just just let me uh, oh come on yeah it's a just me just a look at this and uh, from from the from the source and the destination if you're going to check this uh, packet you will see the all exactly information what we configured here so I think it will be very useful for your labs guys and thank you very much for viewing.